when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. Of it. It's 
It's a sneaky monster that goes around playing tricks on people. It's got magic powers and can even shapeshift into anything it wants. One time, the great Mujina Yokai stole some rice from our house. And this other time, it pushed my dad into the river. Sounds like a very naughty little monster. Because we finally found out how to chase it away. My dad said that the great Mujina Yokai likes to play tricks on people who stay out all the time and don't come home when they're supposed to. So all we need to do is chase it away. Then we can come out and play whenever we want. This monster sounds scary, though. Aren't you guys afraid? Surely your parents must be worried about you. Oh, not really. I told my dad that I was going to find the great Mujina Yokai with some friends, and he didn't even say anything. So we think it must be weak right now. It's probably hiding away so it can rest. Yeah, so as long as we get home before it gets its strength back, we'll be safe. Hmm, something sounds very strange about all this, but Paimon can't say exactly what it is. Yeah, Paimon feels like the great Mujina Yokai is one of those storybook monsters that doesn't in the real world. We should tell them so they don't waste all their time looking for it. Oh, children, listen up. There's no need to go looking for the great Mujina Yokai, all right? Because it isn't real. Huh? No way. That's impossible. My dad wouldn't lie to me. Your folks are just worried about you is all. They don't want you wandering too far from home because it's too dangerous. That's not true. The great Mujina Yokai is definitely real. Yeah! Yoimiya's even making some weapons for us. And then she's gonna show us how to blow it up. Yoimiya, huh? Wait, as in fireworks prison break, Yoimiya? We told her all about the great Mujina Yokai. She said we shouldn't be scared of it. We should learn how to chase it away instead. We've been waiting for ages now. And finally, Yoimiya said that today's the day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yoimiya plays with us and tells us stories all the time. She wouldn't tell a lie. But, but... Huh. Come on, let's get out of here and go find Yoimiya. Wait, hold on, don't go! <sighs> trying to look out for them. Who knows what Yoimiya's got to do with this? Let's follow the kids and see what's going on. Faster. Cheer up, guys. Don't be so down. He was only joking back there. How could the great Mujina Yokai not exist, huh? But we've never seen it for ourselves. That's because the great Mujina Yokai is extra powerful. And that's exactly why I need your help, isn't it? Um, it's okay. Don't be discouraged. Hey, remember, if you want to be a hero, you gotta have patience. And wisdom, too. Even if you can't find it right now, it'll definitely show up before the firework show starts. So, remember to come and pick up your weapons from me before then, okay? No matter how powerful the great Mujina Yokai might be, it's no match for my specially made fireworks. Just light them up and you'll scare it off no problem. It's up to you guys to protect your homes, your crops, and your folks. Got it! Thanks, Miss Yoimiya! We'll try and be more patient. Oh, yeah, hold on. 
slip sec. I have a few slips of paper for you guys. One each. Remember to give it to your parents and tell them to keep it safe. Just tell them it's from Yoimiya. They'll know what it's about. Okay. Thank you, Yoimiya. We're gonna go back now. Oh, thanks, Yoimiya. Come play with us soon. Sure thing. Will do. Take care on the way back, and I'll see you later. Uh, so... Ah, so it was you guys. I guessed as much from the way the kids described you. No worries, though. I'm not blaming you. The great Mujina Yokai is pretty popular with the kids, so of course they're gonna get upset if someone tries to tell them it doesn't exist. Okay, but it definitely doesn't exist, right? Yeah, the first time I heard about it, I knew straight away that was probably something the parents had come up with to stop the kids from running off all the time. But when the kids asked me about it, I didn't want to break it to them. I just told them that it looks cute and likes to play pranks and doesn't hurt people. So, uh, I guess now the kids' impression of the great Mujina Yokai is mostly influenced by me. Huh. So in a way, this monster is all a product of your creativity? Maybe so. In any case, I'm not gonna be the one who exposes it. Sure, it's likely that the parents just wanted to stop the kids from staying out all the time. But they could have easily had other reasons, too. If I just go ahead and tell them that the great Mujina Yokai doesn't exist without knowing the full story, then who knows? I might be doing more harm than good. Besides, they're just kids. They should be allowed to believe it if it makes them happy. That's more important to them than questioning what's real and what isn't. Heck, I entertain my fair share of fantasies, too. The fire diamond that spins around and shoots out lights that are all the colors of the rainbow? Ooh, the mist spirits that live far off in the mountains and guide you to fairyland if you can find them? I know that they don't really exist, but I still enjoy believing in them. If someone came up to me and started telling me to stop being so stupid, they don't exist! Nah, nah, nah. I'd give them the evil eyes and tell them to get the heck out of my face because like, ugh, it's just so annoying. Because maybe it doesn't matter so much if something's real or not. Maybe magic and awesomeness are what makes something worth believing. Why should someone else get to take that away from you? The things we believed and the experiences we had when we were young turn into our priceless treasures as we grow up. When you were kids, surely you guys believed in things like heroes who slew dragons and sacred swords that cut through darkness. It's the same thing. If we tear apart these kids' fairy tales now, what else do we have to tell them? That Inazuma's locked down? All the grim tales of the Vision Hunt decree? I think it's a bit too early for all of that. Uh, yeah! Oh, way too early, for sure! Whether you understood me or not, don't you worry. I'll take care of the kids and make sure they stay safe. Okay, it's about time I headed back. The Naginohara fireworks show is just around the corner, and there's still a lot of things to get ready. Naginohara fireworks show? Is that hosted by your family or something? Well, yeah. I mean, that's why your name is on the event. It's well known throughout Inazuma. Oh, on the subject, are you busy these days? If not, then you should totally come along. I'll prepare an extra pretty firework just for you. <laughs> In that case, come with me to Naginahara. We'll go see my bots. There's still a few fireworks to finish off before the show. Inazuma is home to the Yai Publishing House and a lot of people who like to write stories too. In fact, most of what they write is based off of the kinds of fairy tales I was just talking about. Oh. 
A lot of them have bad endings, though. Like, the Fire Diamond will get put in a rich person's gallery where it will never be ignited again! Or, someone will see the spirit and not manage to catch it, but because they angered it, they'll never show itself again. The hero who slays the dragon becomes the next dragon. The sacred sword that once fought the darkness now becomes a doomsday weapon. Ugh, I know these kinds of stories are all the rage nowadays, but I really can't bring myself to like them. If something's magical, it should be kept that way. The fireworks show is almost upon us, and the fireworks for each family are almost ready. Oh, new faces? Who are these two? Friends or customers? A bit of both, actually. They arrived in Inazuma just recently. Can't let them miss out on a fireworks show after coming all this way, can we? <laughs> well, either way, come on in and have a seat. And I, Naganahara Rienosuke, will tell you all about the long history of the Naganaharas. That can wait. Pops, I need to ask you about something. Ah, <sighs> a long, long time ago. Uh, something Pops has started telling his stories again. Don't. Sorry about rocks, this. Uh, ever since Pops burn. had his accident, his ears don't work line, too well. A rock with really? Light, and but for a moment the there, it almost seemed like you were color. having a coherent people conversation. Took one look and thought much, much later, people eventually realized that if you grind certain materials into dust, they burn with many beautiful colors. Pops, Pops, wait! Huh? What? What's that? Did they deliver those firework materials that we ordered yet? Oh! Yesterday's fireworks have all been delivered. So have the ones from the day before yesterday. And the ones from the day before that. No, Pops, I meant the materials. The materials that we ordered. They should have arrived today. Ah, oh, today's fireworks are almost ready, too. Don't you worry. <laughs> Your old man's skills are still as sharp as ever. No, Hots, the materials, the raw materials for making fireworks. Sorry? Materials! Oh, oh, the materials! Yes, yes, the materials! Sorry, sorry, kind of got all excited because you finally got the message across. <laughs> the materials aren't here yet. The couriers did come over to explain why, but... Well, I think they did, but I couldn't quite hear what they were saying. No worries. As long as we know, that's fine. We can just make them later. Oh, oh. Don't forget to take the goods in when they deliver them. Okay, Pops? Of course. Leave it to me. Oh, sorry if we were a little loud. It's always the way, though. It's like that every time I need to ask Pop something. Uh-huh, that's my Pops. He's a good person, all right. Everyone around here respects him. Because my Pops is deaf, he never argues with anyone and never contradicts them. He just listens cheerfully. When I was little, I thought it was because he really understood me and agreed with whatever I had to say. So, I'd tell my Pops everything. Eventually, I realized that the reason he was like that was that he's deaf. But I still tell him stories every day. Huh? Why would you do that? It just makes me happy to see him smile. And it keeps him from being lonely, right? Anyway, more importantly right now, the fireworks show is right around the corner and the materials still haven't arrived. We need to think of an alternative. You and Mia? Is that you? you to be more careful before you speak. S sorry Hold on. I'm coming over. <sighs> no one's looking. Okay, you can come out now. Uh, come around the side. We're lucky that no one from the Tenryo Commission was around. Otherwise, we'd all be in big trouble. Sorry, I guess I was a little rash. But when I heard you come back, I just... Don't worry, Sakajiro. So far, at least, everything is going according to...
the plan. We're going to look for firework materials shortly. While we're out, we'll sort out the boat situation for you, as promised. Thank you for all your help. He's one of our old customers. He came back to Inazuma from the outside world not long ago. While he was smuggling himself in, the Tenryo Commission found him and put out a warrant for his arrest. An arrest warrant? Oh, shh. Keep it down. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention. If Sakajiro was caught, there's no knowing what crimes they could charge him with. All we can do is find him a boat and send him out of Inazuma again. Yeah, we know it's going to be dangerous, but there aren't many other options left. What if the boat capsizes? <sighs> Drowning is really scary. If things are this bad, couldn't you just not come back in the first place? Well... There's something I felt I had to do. But as soon as I got back, I started hearing about all these unbelievable changes. I had made my mind up originally, but now I'm not sure anymore. I didn't want to cause any trouble for Yoimiya or Mr. Ryunosuke, but I'm very grateful to them for taking me in. Hey, no worries. You're more than welcome. Remember what I said? As long as you've got that little piece of paper, you'll always be a valued customer of the Naganoharas. Little piece of paper? Yep, the same paper slips as the one I gave to the kids earlier. Whenever a customer orders fireworks for a commemorative event, we always include a little paper slip with the goods. Only people from inside my family can understand what's written on it. It's the recipe for the fireworks they ordered. If someone shows a Naganohara that paper slip, we guarantee we can make the exact same firework as the original one they purchased, whether it's 10 or even 100 years later. Wow, that is so awesome! It's a family tradition. All our regular customers know about this. The slip I have is from back when my parents ordered fireworks from Mr. Ryunosuke. Now that I think about it, it must be nearly 20 years ago. <sighs> I would have thought that things would turn out the way they have. It'll be fine. Escaping in a boat is just a last resort for if there's no other way. I'll still try and come up with a different solution, because it'd be much better if you could stay in Inazuma. Whatever their reasons might be, if our customers come to us looking for help, we're not about to leave them high and dry. Thank you. This way, I still have some time to consider my options. All right. Well, let's not stay out here in the open for too long. Hurry up and get back inside. I'll let you know as soon as I have an update for you. All right. I'll, I'll leave it to you then, I guess. <sighs> it's a shame. They still wouldn't give him a permit, even though he was born and raised in Inazuma. Speaking of... You guys only got here recently. How did you manage to get a permit? Even then, we only got through thanks to some help from Miss Hiragi Chisato of the Kanju Commission. Oh, I see. So you had big shots helping you. I guess that won't be of much help to Sakujiro. Uh, I just wish the commissions could be a little bit more flexible. I bet nowhere else you've been is quite like Inazuma, huh? No matter what, I have to find a way to help him. I'm sorry. I invited you to come watch the fireworks, but now I have to run a few errands. You don't have to join me if you don't want to. I can go sort out the firework materials in the boat by myself. And then you can come meet me back at the house later. Oh, cool! Then let's start with Sakajiro's boat. We can chat along the way. Oh, yeah! Um, with you, can I ask how you two first met? He saved me from drowning this one time, and after that, we started traveling together. Why do you ask? Nothing. I'm just quite envious of your relationship. If my pops had a person like you around, his being deaf wouldn't hold things up all the time. Uh, uh huh. Uh, why do you look so excited? Astra, uh, 